uh, the experimental probability of an event occurring is based on a particular experiments. So you're actually doing it. The other one was theoretical. How would we, how many would we expect to get if we, well, this time we're going to do it. So we're going to do the trials. So to so figure that out, we divide the number of times the event occurs and divide that by the total number of trials, the number of times we did it. The expected number of occurrences is the probability times the number of trials. So let's have a look at this. If the, if the number of trials is large, then the experimental probability is likely to be close to the actual probability, theoretical probability. So the more we do it, the more we find the theoretical pro probability should be right. But let's see. Let's see. When playing with a spinner, we've got a spinner here with numbers 1 to 4 on it. So we have four possibilities. So the following numbers, this is when we actually do it. The first time I spin it, I get a 1. The next time I spin, I get a 4. The next time I spin, so on and so forth. So these are actual results of an event where we did this. So this is experimental. What is the experimental probability of getting a 3? Well, remember, we're going to look at the number of times the event occurs. So how many threes do we get? One, two, three, four. So we get four threes. That's the number of times that we hit three. That's what we're looking for. And out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we had ten to total spins here. And we can reduce that to two over five. So there is our probability of getting a three. We can also express that if we're asked to as 0 0.4, because four tenths. Uh, and, of course, we know that that's also 40 per cent. And this is coming from the actual experiments where we threw, where we spun the thing 10 times, and 4 out of 10 times, it was a 3. Same deal. What is the experimental probability of getting an even number? Well, let's go and see how many even numbers we have out of our 10. We have 1, 4, 2, 4s, and 1, 2. So we have 3 times that out of those 10 experimental tries of spinning, we got that number. And that number can be expressed as 3 over 10, or we could call that 30% chance of getting an even number in that experimental probability. Now, if you want to get the expected number, so you might have more than 10. What if we threw the thing, say, a thousand times? Well, to save us actually spinning it a thousand times, which you could do, let's look at how we would, how likely we would be to get a 3 if we spun it a thousand times. Well, what do we know? We're going to get the probability here times the number of trials. So we know that we want to try it a thousand times. So we're going to take, what was the uh, probability of getting a 3? The experimental probability, 2 out of 5, or 4 out of 10, which is 2 out of 5 times. We got a 3. And we'll multiply that by a thousand. So you can probably work that out in your head. So if we spun a thousand times, we would expect three to come up 400 of those times based on the experimental probability. Fun times.